Gerald says it's seven o'clock. Gerald's always right. It is seven o'clock. Welcome. Let's check it out Tuesday. Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. Who is hanging out with me tonight? I need y'all to chime in on what the heck we're doing tonight. So I'm going to let some people pop on because I only have one set of eyes on me. So we'll wait for a few to hop in. Hopefully we'll get a few. Because uh, I'm torn on what to do. I came up with a fabulous project. It takes about an hour. Does anybody want to see a project that takes an hour? Will anybody make a project that takes an hour? I don't know. Hey, Marcella. How are you? Happy anniversary to Marcella. It's today, right, Marcella? Hey, Hope, Kathy, Donna. I'll show you my project and then I'll let you decide. It's a fun one. But yeah, after I was like, okay, this took me an hour. It took me an hour to make. It's it's a wow. It's a you'll make one for like a 50th birthday or 50th anniversary or graduation. You'll make one. Hi, Tracy. This is not a mass produce. You're just going to sit back and listen to me and watch me cut because you're not going to write it all down because there's a lot. Like I got two pages of notes. But I'll show you 31 years, Marcella. Well done. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Hey, Dana. You hanging out with trouble tonight? Kathy. Oh, Kathy, I got to get you some paper. You're back in the hood, aren't you? After like an epic holiday. Hmm. All right. I got a few sets of eyes. So how many we got? We've got, I don't know, about 14 of us are in here. So I'm going to show you a couple of projects. So this, my friend, uh, Lauren, uh, Urbanos, 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 uh, Laura's scrap lot, Lauren's scrap lot, Lauren's scrap a lot, Lauren's scrap lot. I think it is Lauren Urbanos. She's another Canadian. She's an Edmontonian. We've, we went for coffee a couple months ago. Um, good girl, Dana. Hi, Lena. Hey, Andre, you're back. Excellent. So, uh, anyway, I saw this amazing project and I thought, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. And I did make that. Uh, I took her dimensions and her instructions and they were very good. And I made what she made. So here it is. Takes an hour. Not even kidding. Takes an hour. But it's pretty impressive. You want to see it? Here, let's, I'll show you. I will show you. Hey, Barbara. Hello, I'm well. Thank you. How are you? All right, we're going to slide off this belly band. Okay, you ready for this? Look at this. Look at this little piece of awesomeness. How's that for an awesome card? Like, it's amazing, I think. Don't you think? What do you think? So I could show you how to make this, but if you go, oh, good Lord, look at, look at all the work. I am never going to make that. Then maybe we don't bother. It's impressive. I'm going to send it to my friend. My friend helped me out, out yesterday. She did me a solid. And I thought, you know what? She was. She truly was a true friend. And I thought I would send her this card. It'll cost me probably $5 to mail it. It's really fat, but it's impressive, right? Isn't that gorgeous? So she had done hers using the tree lot paper and stuff. Um, and I used the true beauty and the beauty of wash designer paper. Does it really Lena? Like, is this something you think you would ever make? I don't know. It's a lot of work and you might, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I have the energy. <laughs> It, I was exhausted. I went, okay, that took me an hour to make. Holy cow. Maybe it'll be a little bit faster, but probably not. Um, here's the other one I thought I would make. So yes, my friend Liz, Liz, are you in the house tonight? She sent me this card for my birthday and it's, you know, it's a wow as well. Uh, that's a nice one. That's a lot easier, but I mean, I have an hour, so maybe I should just, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, okay. You asked for it. And then I was thinking it's quite funny. If I were to sit down and actually plan to make this, this is probably not the paper I would have used. And it would have taken me another hour to decide, you know, my favorite paper and how to decorate it exactly so beautiful. And I thought, oh, well, this paper is okay. And I don't mind if I cut it up and I don't love it because, you know, it's it's Calypso Coral and it's Mossy Meadow. And I went, yeah, if it looks like garbage, whatever, it's it'll be my template. And I'm like, actually, I quite like it. If I would have taken a lot more time to really use the papers I love, I'd be afraid to cut it. And then I'd try like 
yeah, it's it's a lot of work, Kathy. It is. It really is. I think this is a it is one off for someone special. It's no, it is absolutely not. A, no, you will not mass produce this ever. So I'm torn. I mean, part of me is like, well, we're here for an hour. So does it matter if I show you one project for the hour or if I ramble on like I usually do and make a quick project? I don't know. I don't know. So you wouldn't make it, Kathy. So Kathy votes no. <laughs> it is. It's complicated. But it, I mean, this is for an avid crafter. I think I'm more likely to make the second one, but the first, it is very impressive. Absolutely is. And I could just say, Hey, go check out, uh, Lauren, Lauren's. I want to call her Lauren because my neighbor is a Lauren. You could just go check out Lauren's video and she'll show you how to do it. Cause that's what I did. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. We're trying to vote on whether or not we want to learn how to make this card. So this is an option and I, ha I haven't made one. So this, we would be making this one from scratch all by myself. Like I wouldn't, I, I would sit here and what do you think? What do you think? We have a few who really want to see it. Hi, Valerie. This one's easier and quicker and one that you will actually make at some point. Oh, see, Jennifer, see, most people are saying yes. I don't know. I don't know which way I want you to lean because it's a lot of work. The second one says Barb. Valerie says this one. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to chime in? Because I'm going to have to get going. It's 7.06. I'm going to have to make a decision here. Well, what if I make this one? It only takes 30 seconds. Well, it will take more than 30 seconds, but not much more. Hey, Shayla. You vote for the easier one, Bernice. The second one, Bernice. Okay. You guys, because this is more practical, right? So I will send you, maybe I'll do the link to Lauren Urbanos's card on how to make this. It's, it's quite lovely, but yeah, I don't know that I'll make another one. This was the question. Which card are we going to make? This takes an hour. It took me an hour. Look at all the layers and all the cutting and the die cutting. It, it took an hour. To watch your video and do it so it would take me an hour so all right well i'll i'll, I'll let's start on the second one unless there's something else you want to see um me do tonight <laughs> that was a good question the link okay I'll, I'll post a link i'll share a sister a sister a sister's project okay let's make this one so liz are you in the house tonight liz 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 all right, what paper shall I use? Let's find a paper. Let's find it. No, this is always the hardest part of my day. What paper to use? Do I feel Christmas? Not really. Maybe, because the papers are all new. I need, what am I going to decorate it with? Let's start with that. Link. Okay, I'll send a link. No, you would never make a lot of them, Shayla. Absolutely not. Like, do I want... I could use Christmas. I could use Christmas paper. Let me just see what this is. If I've got any nice sheets of this left. What's, what's in here? I don't love these sheets, obviously, because this was my pack from last year. No, don't love those sheets. I should use... Oh, the paper that is in low inventory is this one. Low inventory is the Bows of Holly, which is my favorite Christmas print, uh, paper this year. The Bows of Holly is low in, uh, low in stock. So is the Lights a Glow, I think it's called. Okay. Uh, what paper should I use? Host paper. You know what, Shayla? I didn't get the host Christmas paper. The one that's in this. I think I must have had a stroke because I never even noticed it. I'm going to blame Tracy. I don't know why. Somehow it's Tracy's fault. I don't know. Tracy, did we order this for the extravaganza? I think we did. I know! There's this paper! Never saw it. Didn't buy it. So my next order that's going in, let me tell ya. I'm scooping like three of these bad boys. Look how pretty that, like it's so bright. Anyway, I digress. I know. Maybe it's Shayla's fault. Okay. What paper? 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 What paper should I use? Uh, not the Santa paper. I uh, don't feel like do. Should I do flowers? I could do flowers. Yes. I don't know. I know. I threw you off because we did order it. <sighs> okay. I thought you meant the one from the main catalog, Tracy. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do. We need two of these papers. Now, I don't love this one because of the blue background. So, oh, but I love this one. See, I. I have trouble cutting paper. The struggle is real. Uh, I need a... 
Oh, it's going to be an interesting night. What are we doing? Let's just, okay, this one's pretty. And then we need a different one on top. Let's see what else I got here. See, I've cut half this stuff up because the dies cut the, the paper out. So I've got little chunks everywhere. Let's see, and then I could do, I'm trying to think, okay, so then I could do, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Where's, that's not big enough. Looking for a chunk that I haven't completely, there, there, that'll do it. Okay, so if I do these flowers with this on the front, is that visually annoying? Like I'm trying to look at this and this. I think that'll work. Sure, let's do that. All right. Oh, I can't do that. I need a really long piece of this. All right, hang on now. I need, fine, fine. Do I have any more of that in the long sheet? I do. Okay. All right, Liz. Look what you're doing to me, girl. All right. Shayla, hang your head in shame. Okay. All right. The Bows of Holy Deus PSN avail. Uh, okay, Barb. Thanks. I checked it out uh, this morning. I was looking at the list. Yeah. Not surprising. It is beautiful paper. And I toyed with ordering some more. But I do have a full pack and a part pack. So. All right, well, let's get busy on this card then. Uh, let's decide on the back piece color. If this is going to be my front, I think I want to go, this reminds me of lovely lipstick, but it is, it must be our in color, whatever this one is. No, is this Melon Mambo? What is this up here? Hang on. This is Melon Mambo. I guess I could look at the back of the package and see what we're working with here. Uh, it is indeed Melon Mambo. Why do I question myself? Okay, so this is going to be my card base. This is going to be a quick card once I decide what the heck I'm doing here. Uh-oh. You missed, you missed my life yesterday. Oh. All right. Why, do I want to ask Shayla what's going on this week? Anything broken? I hope not, but I don't like the sound of a rough week. I don't like that at all. All right, I'm going to make a card base. Four and a quarter, five and a half. So let's do five and a half. By four and a quarter. So this is a great way to use up a lot of designer paper. Because this will be, where's where's my Donna ruler? Here it is. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Shirley. Who are you? All right, so this is probably, let's see how... This is 11 inches. So I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to 11 by five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna cut five and a quarter. No, I'm not. What am I doing? Oh, it has to be five and a quarter tall. Yeah, okay, five and a quarter tall. Hmm, all right going to show a little bit more of this color that I wanted, but five and a quarter by 11. I just want to double check if that's 11. I have a ruler on the edge of my desk here, so let's just go like this. Yeah, that's 11. Okay, so I'm going to do by 11. Hi ho Nikki. Happy birthday. 11 is here, so we're going to cut one inch, one inch off here. All right, now she has scored it at, let's see now, scored it at four. That's why I like having samples. So actually this one, I'm going to turn it upside down. So we're going to score it at four. Score it at four. Score it at five and three quarters. Not too hard. I don't want to tear my paper. Five and three quarters. Score it at seven and a half. Score it at nine and a quarter. Hey, is everybody signed up, uh, registered for on stage in Vancouver in November? I did. Okay, so now I'm folding this. 
So you fold it. So this, why, why are you so far away? Here we go. So you fold it. This is going to be the back. This back part is going to go on your card base. So it's going to go like that. So then you just kind of zigzag. So this is the folded here. Then we zigzag on all the other folds like that. Now, before I do hard, hard creases, I do want to try to make sure um, that they're kind of lined up because when I score, I always seem to be off a titch. I don't know. So this one, like it just doesn't, it's a little bit short. So I guess too bad. <laughs> it's scored and folded now. So, but you see what I'm saying? Like it's not exactly lined up. That drives me a little bit crazy. Get over it, Bertram. I guess we're scoring them. That first one is just a little bit off. I can't get over it. I can't. I have to fix it. I should rename my business page the Anal Stamper. I don't know if Facebook would like that, but anyway. There we go. If I do that, it finds up a little bit better. Makes me a little bit happier. Okay. Look at that. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> You can't hide in my bag because I'm only taking a carry-on. That's right, $60 at Costco, got myself a new carry-on. I'm not messing around with luggage. I mean, I'm only going for the weekend for heaven's sakes, but uh, I accidentally lent my carry-on to a friend. And then I realized, wait, wait a minute, I need it before they're back <laughs> for me to go to New Orleans. So I'm like, I could have borrowed one probably for my mom, but yeah, I'll buy a new one. So I did. $60 Costco. Can't go wrong. All right. So there we go. We're almost done. Now I need another piece of my melon mambo. I think it's probably six by three. No, it is three and a half and three and a half is seven by three and a half. So seven by three and a half. Seven. So let's go three and a half. by seven. Gonna score that in half. So three and a half. So I'm just, I'm having conversations with Rebecca. She, um, as you probably know, she works with an elderly couple and we just found out that the gentleman has COVID. Ugh. I said, walk in the door, do not pass go, hand me your clothes, hit the shower. So yes, it's most distressing. I said, you can't, uh, you actually, you can't, you can't go work there tomorrow because if you get COVID, I'm going to get COVID. And if I get COVID, I can't go to New Orleans. And if I can't go to New Orleans, somebody is going to be cranky. So, um, yeah, chances are she's done work for a week because I can't take that chance. All right. Now, uh, we are now going to cut this paper. So this is going to have to be, I think, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Does that make sense? Probably three and a quarter. So we're going to go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. I, I'm assuming that she's going to be okay because she wears like an N95 plus, um, uh, plus one of the other disposable masks on top of that when she's around him because he is 97 and she doesn't want to give him anything or does she want to get anything. But still, I mean, uh, you know, if he's touching things and she's touching things and anyway, it's too much touching for my liking. All right. So now we're just going to glue these pieces together. Uh, this is going to go here and this is going to go here. So like that. Oh, I like it. This is so easy. Look, you guys, we're going to be done at 719. Okay. So I need to put some tape or glue. Let's do some glue. Do some here. And we're gonna do some here. She said confidently. And then we're gonna go like should I maybe do it in the field of vision? You guys wanna see what I'm doing or am I just gonna do this all myself? Okay, so if this is gonna go here, centered, right? Left. So this is where my score line is. So I'm gonna try to center that, center to center, top to bottom. Close that. Close that. Oh, that's a little bit over too far for my liking. Let's go like this. There. Give it a push. 
It is lovely, isn't it? It's funny because uh, Liz was talking to me. She's like, hey, did you ever get my birthday card? I'm like, yes, I haven't posted the birthday cards. My birthday was July 8th. <laughs> so here we are a month later. I've started to watermark them, but I haven't actually gotten around to posting them. So anyway, that's me right now. Which color do I want down? Maybe I want it sideways. Kind of do. Kind of want it sideways. Ah, there's Liz. Liz is texting me as we speak. Huh. There she is. I'm making it right now. Hang on. I'm making it live right now. <laughs> Head over to my page. That's funny. Her uh, spidey senses must have been tingling. What should I do? Which way do I want it? I think I want it this way, honestly. So there we go. Then I'm going to need a white piece that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm going to need a couple of those white ones. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, Liz. No, it's fine. She is, she is watching me. She was just sending me the uh, instructions. Cool. All right. I didn't see you comment, Liz, so I didn't know. I don't know. <sighs> thanks, Janice. Okay, so I'm going to go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. I think I need two of those. Now, before I attach these, though, I'm going to want to stamp them. Ish. Maybe. So one's going to go here and one's going to go here. But we should decorate because we can. Where did my paper go? Do I have all the pieces? Okay. What does this go with? This is the hues of happiness. Is that what happiness abounds, I think? Let's see. Aha! Bing, 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 bing. So. All right. It's gorgeous paper, surely. It is. Okay. So I could stamp some flowers. Uh... front of here. What does Liz, oh, she decorated. No matter what. Okay. Um, oh, so I'm going to need something here. I'm going to need, mm -hmm, I think some flowers. On the front. Yeah, they really do for just such crafting emergencies. 722. I'm going to have to think what else I'm going to do during this, con this uh, live. Okay. So, Why don't I have any of the colors punched out? I must have used them on another project. Because Lord knows I cut them all out. I just don't know where they all are. Let's see if they're in here somewhere. Oh. Now I'm just making a big mess. Okay, that's awesome. Mess. All right, then. Because I'll need some for the front. And all the green pieces. Really? Did I use them all? I probably should use a different color so that they was, these would have popped. I could have used... Well, that one works okay. I could use these little chunks, but I used all the green ones. Apparently, like I had greenery. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I guess I have the greenery here. I just didn't cut them out. Well, I have scissors. I can do that. As always, that's what takes Tamara the longest time is the decorating, right? Yes, we do have dyes, but seriously, these are leaves. It's probably faster than me using the dyes. So, that's what we'll do. Alternatively, I could use something just big. I could do, oh, you know what? I'm so into these tags right now. <laughs> They're just so much easier. And then I could put some flowers, the little half pieces. The flowers. Doesn't know. What do he doing in here? That's one of these things is not like the other. All right, where did my little leaf go? Where are some other colors that I would like on here? What is this doing in here? Goodness, everybody's in the wrong bucket here. Oh, I think I need a red one. And yes, again, I could cut these out with the dyes. I'm not gonna. By the time I get it all lined up. Hmm. 
<laughs> Tomorrow's Wednesday. I get to go hang out with my pa. I think I heard it's going to be like 29 degrees tomorrow. I'm not happy about that at all. Enough with this heat. Ready for fall. Sweaters, boots. Okay, and so, and I might want some more greenery. Anyway, I'm thinking, is that too big, that tag? What is this? Ah, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Of course. That works. Something like that. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. A little bit more greenery. Couple more pieces of greenery. Where are you? There's some. Mm -hmm. Let it snow, right, Tracy? You know we're gonna get lynched one of these days, girl. Craig is gonna pull his corn. It is corn picking week, so that's it for keto for me. <laughs> That'll kick me out. That's fine. We're gonna have his baby potatoes and corn. Still healthy. It's just uh, a lot of carbs and starch, but that's fine. It's worth it for his homegrown corn and potatoes. There we go. Ah, that was wrong. Yeah, I know. The heat and me, no thanks. Boob sweat. Don't like it. All right, so I think that's going to be... I'm not convinced that I should have used this piece on the front. But anyway, let's just... Uh... I think I want a large... Oh, see, that one's prettier. Now I want a purple one or a blue one. I have this great big guy right here. Purple or blue? I think purple. Hang on, sorry, now you get to watch me cut more paper. This is how you screw up an entire chunk of designer paper is by cutting a flower out of the middle of it. So if you need another 11 inch strip, you're hooped. But anyway. This is a great way to use um, some of your designer paper because you needed that one strip was 11 inches long, 11 by three and a half, did I say? Or no, five and a half by 11. So that uses up a large chunk of designer paper and I mean the fun is decorating it right it's just I don't do it very well with 42 people watching me do it <laughs> okay I want this here's how it's going down tape up okay so there's a purple one this is going to go here so then we can even use some part ones like it doesn't have to be the full flowers think it. Really, Ines? Oh, this is a really pretty one. I'm sorry to say. If nothing else, it, oh, no, no, you need it. Because this is, the, look at the font. Look at the font. I, how many times have I used this happy birthday and the congratulations? Right? You can see that I've used them a lot. I love these sentiments. And this makes the stitch it makes it look like a notebook from this sample remember i made this sample in one of my lives it does this sorry inez you need to have it you need to have it i think i even have a tutorial on this one um that i don't talk about it very often but you guys know that when you spend 60 dollars or more with me um in a month then you get to i send you tutorials it's true i do um, yeah, I don't really talk about it as much as I should. Okay. So this one's going to go here. I'm going to put some greenery here. They should be going up on dimensionals. Heck, a little baby dimensionals out here. Yeah. This paper is all that and a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. I know Jennifer. I know it's a very versatile one. Now, you know, if you guys ever need my opinions on, uh, you know, certain bundles, you know, I'll tell you the truth. This one is very versatile because it's got the sentiments, happy birthday, congratulations, friend. So you've got all occasions there, right? Your congratulations, your birthday, um, a fr friend, like that could be really for like a uh, thinking of you. You're wonderful in every way. Sending you thanks for all you do. Wishing you all the happiness. Like it's just, it's very versatile. Flowers are, are versatile. 
So I will tell you this one is, it's a good one. It's not a one trick pony is where I'm going with that one. Many of them are, this one is not. Okay, I want one more. I cut another leaf, where did I put them, I wonder? Good luck finding that. Good luck finding what I cut. We might just have to move on. I know I cut another set of leaves. I don't know where they put them. But I need another one. Focus, focus. See, and now I'll cut up a whole nother sheet just for this. Oh, I like the purple too. I want this guy too. And th there are dyes for all of these. So you waste virtually nothing of this one sheet. The dyes, there's a dye for all of these pieces. I know I did, Barb. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> so that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> right now it's disguised as garbage. It's fine. It's okay. What else did I want to tell you about? Uh, tomorrow night at 6.30. Now, Tracy, I forgot. I have a meeting at 7.30, but I will be here um, on Tracy's $5, um, $5 stamp set sale, the sequel, <laughs> uh, is at 6.30 tomorrow right here. Uh, she has many of the same sets that I had. So if you missed out on things you wanted in my sale, she has many of the same items. Just saying. But it's not for the faint of heart. You have to be quick. You have to be quick. All right, I'm doing this one too. Uh, did I cut out that other leaf yet? I don't think I did. I think I started to, and then I got sidetracked. And it was on the purples. There it is. What happened to the... Come on, you... Come on. What did I do? Didn't I start to cut out? I don't know. Fine, let's do these. I'll find lots of green leaves in, a, in an hour. I'm going to clean up here. It's been an exhausting day. I got a lot of work done today. But also none of the stuff that I thought I was going to get done today. That's the way I roll. It's okay. All right, last one. This little guy, he's going to go find dimensionals too. Under the dimensionals, is it? Probably. Well, is that the one I was going to cut? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Too late. Okay. So that's the front. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. And then my little white squares. So then this one I'll do happy birthday. And I'm going to do it, I guess, in the gorgeous grape. That's what I did the outside in. And I should stamp this on a paper piercing mat, but it's not, it's not too, too bad uh, when it's just the sentiment. If it was a large image, I would dig it out but I can't be bothered okay there's that and then um, I want to do some stamping because that's fun now what color do I want I'm gonna go with what are the colors are in this mango melody coastal cabana but there's none of that so I need flirty flamingo sure flirty flamingo I never use flirty flamingo um, and I think I'm going to stamp off first if I can find here I've been using this pad of paper for my stamping off lately I don't know why because I want it really subtle actually I need my, I need my paper piercing mat now okay, seriously like this card was supposed to be done at 720 it's already 734 that's how long it takes me to decorate things so I just want I want to see how light will it be after the second and then the third? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stamp off twice. One, two. And then I'm going to stamp this guy here. 
three because I just want it light. Really light. And that's actually even still too dark for my liking. Maybe I'll turn that over. Stamp off one, two. Three. Hmm. Maybe if I do it like this. I'm thinking the stamping off isn't coming so good because maybe because I'm not doing it on the paper. One, two, three. Maybe because there's holes in my paper piercing mat. I don't know. Let's try the other side. Four. Look at your dog. Yeah, I think I like that better. Now. Where did I put my happy birthday? Here we go. Is that too light? No. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I'll do this. Happy birthday. It's crooked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going to have to stay. Tape. So this is going to go, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I do like this one better. You know what I do? That was fine. I should have just gone with the first one. All right. So I'm going to put it here and it will be covered when it's closed. Now I need another one that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So because I used it up, let's get another one. This piece of paper. I don't know. I got paper everywhere. I should close that ink pad. I know I should. It's not going to end well. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Yeah, I mean, this is a very easy fold. It's uh, ridiculously easy. What can I use here? I think I could use. What color is the green? Green, oh, paper goes flying everywhere. Coastal good, uh, granny apple green. Doing, uh, Coda, trying to work here. Hold it down out there, buddy. I know. I hear you. Uh, there we go. Should I stamp off on this one? Where is all my stuff going to go? Green. What else can I stamp? I could do a... I could do this little guy in green. Hi, Rebecca. Yeah, you are late. Kids didn't want to go to sleep today? No, not you. The other Rebecca. Rebecca, were you, um, Rebecca on the live, not Rebecca, my daughter, were you, uh, hacked? There was some weird message on when I commented on one of your videos or something, and then I got some, uh, some spam on my comment. It was quite weird. I don't like that. I don't like that even a little bit. That's not nice. I don't like that. Anyway, let's not overthink it. 7.38. What can I, what else can I show you while I have you here? Because this card is pretty much done, but um, I'm thinking now. Let's do this. I, this has got to go. Oh, don't like it. Trash. What I'm going to do here, though, I'm going to do the happy birthday. Fell asleep. Oh, I used to do that all the time. I'd be rocking the kids, and I'd pass out. <laughs> Craig would. Oh, no, that's not going to work very well. We'll see how this works. Oh, Tamara, you're such a nut job. Mm, okay, well, um, mm. anyway, he'd say that took a long time to put the kids down. I'm like, yeah, it's really, really tough getting them to sleep. Meanwhile, I passed out myself. Okay, this isn't a good idea. Don't do this. Because <laughs> it's now bending my paper. <laughs> that was the hard way. Don't do it that way. Okay. Now I need one more. That is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay. Yeah, I did that too. Okay. Okay. Three and a quarter by three and 
course, this one I think I'm just going to flat out stamp a flower. So what color shall I do? I, you know what? I think I want to do it in Melon Mambo. Go hard on the flower. We're doing it. I'm going in. Flower. Why is there a jewel on my... There we go. That is pretty intense. Okay. And then we could do... What else have we got? I should have done these little guys. Oh, well. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's really intense. I don't really like that. Why am I struggling with this so much? Okay, we're going to go like this. Hmm. Okay, and then I'm just using, licking my finger. <laughs> What'll have to do? Because I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to complain, right? Are they? There we go. Then there's a little bit of room to write on the white part. So that took way too long to decorate. You could add some bling. Oh, wait, yeah, we got wait. Wait for it. Because I love these. Look at these guys. They're so bright and cheery. These are the Glossy Dots assortment. Need my other doodad. Wait, wait. Okay, my... um. Purple. We could do this one doesn't want to pick up. They're too strong. We could do yellow. Blue. And Pink. This might upset Donna. Because does that count? There's three there, but there's one here. I don't know. I don't want to upset Donna. We'll risk it. There. I think we're done. <laughs> that really shouldn't have taken as long as it did. Now, what was the size of the melon base? Uh, Lena, that's a standard five and a half by four and a quarter. Five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the designer series paper layer was five and a quarter tall by 11 long. And just for convenience, I turned the paper upside down and then I scored it at four. And at five and three quarters, seven and a half, and nine and a quarter. Hi, Nancy. Thanks, Liz. Yours was the inspiration. I don't love this. I don't know what the heck. I don't know, but I'm not going to redo it a third time or a fourth time. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to go back to looking at this one until somebody says, what else can you teach us how to do in the next nine minutes, Tamara? So, yeah, it, it, this was really quite easy. Very impressive, but this part, this part was a little much. A lot of die cutting. That's okay. It took me an hour. Anyway, I'm going to give that to my one friend. It's a wow card, that one. What can I show you? I will show you a card. Hey, somebody asked to you see the vellum. Hey, remember on the catalog? Um, in the catalog, there is this vellum stuff. This. Lovely Layers Vellum. I might have three packs of it. I used it. Want to see? It is so easy. This is just vellum and a couple of die cuts. So there's a little bit of show and tell. Um, I showed you my cards for my upcoming class. I could have shown you how to do this one. No, I showed you the, I showed you how to do this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. We did that on... When did I do that? Last Tuesday? Monday? No. Why is this crooked? What's happening? My paper is falling off. That's not okay. Fix that. Why is it crooked? How did it get crooked? We don't do crooked. 
Okay, I'll fix that up today. What else can I show you? What can I tell you? Uh, are you going to teach the WoW card? No, Shirley. <laughs> they uh, they said no. So um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to post a link to my friend Lauren's Lauren, not Lauren, Lauren's website or Lauren's YouTube video. Um, she's got all the dimensions. It's about a 53 minute video, but it's time where you can cut along with her uh, because it's most impressive. It really is most impressive. Now, what else can I, what can I teach you? What can I show you? I have 15 minutes. That's lots of time to show you something. What do you want to know? Did you get the candy cane bundle? I did, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I got it. I don't love it. I like it. It wasn't my first choice. Let me, let me go through. Let me tell you what you need to have. Like my top choices now that I've had a chance to play with them. Let's do a little bit of Tamara's favorites. Let's see now. I like it. I don't love it. I do love this. Like the dies that go, it's part of the suite. So this one is the Christmas banners bundle because that's very versatile. I haven't used the paper. I've used these a little bit. I do like the ribbon a lot. It's really nice. <sighs> Candy canes, yeah, they're okay. They're okay. But this one, yes, I love this one. This I love, this I love, this I love, the spruced up bundle. Have I used it? Well, no. <laughs> but I love it because you can do this. I have cut some pieces out. I haven't finished a card with it, but um, you get the inside and the outside. So you can layer the pieces like that. And I love it. Oh, this too I have. It's neat. The, um, the tree rings stuff. If you're a tree person like Tracy, yeah, you can't live without it because it's fun. You can cut and emboss at the same time. And I have used it and it's neat. So I like that one. Uh, must have. No, this one I think is upstairs in the hallway. Uh, this one, let's get in field vision. Um, the reindeer. I only just got it and the stamping man came today and nobody told me. So I think that's upstairs in the box as we speak. I don't have the Santa stuff. The paper is cute, some of it. Um, I I just, it's not my, it's not my thing. So I didn't get it yet. It's good until January, so never say never. Um, this one, I, I do have the Joyful Flurry Bundle. And it does have some beautiful snowflakes in it. Uh, and I love the font. So I did get this one. I haven't played with it a lot yet. Um, I don't know yet, Hope. I have to find it. I'll post it. I think it's Lauren Scraps a lot. Is Lauren Urbanos? I'll find a link. What's the embossing folder on my right? Oh, this is another hybrid. This is in the main catalog. Something about leaves. And it's fun. And I've used it a lot. And I can prove that by all the pieces that I have cut out from it. So it's another one that you cut and emboss at the same time. Have I not shown it? Okay, it is here. Twigs and sprigs embossing folder and die. So it's a standalone, but it's the same thing. You run it through and it cuts out the pieces and embosses at the same time. So pretend this is a brand new piece of paper <laughs> and you put it in here and the dies fit right inside the embossing folder. Like they sit right in there. You They click in sort of. They don't like they sit in there. You put your paper in, you close it, you can see it cuts and embosses and then you get all the pieces, look at what you're doing to my desk now, you get all the pieces cut out. And I've colored the pieces, I've brayered the pieces and anyway so you get all these pieces in like one pass, well, okay, all of the green pieces in one pass, all the white pieces in one pass. So that's a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fun, Jennifer. It's fun. Once you get over the, oh my God, it's going to leave a mark in my embossing folder, which it does. It leaves a little mark. Who cares? Get over it. So you can see this has got a bit of an etch in it. It's okay. 
That's what it's designed for. Okay. I don't have the gingerbread bundle yet. I'm not sure if I'll have time to use it, so I didn't get that one yet. I have this. Have I used it? Probably not. This is carried over. This is carried over. This one is my favorite, favorite, favorite. The dies are on back order. The set is back in stock. The dies are on back order. Due back the week of August 22nd. Yes, it can be used just to emboss, Barbie, you bet. You just don't use the, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I haven't used it just to emboss, but yes, you can. Should we try it? Let's try it. I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. It gives the people what they want. Same with the tree ring. Uh, the tree ring one. You don't have to cut it. So you can do it in two. Like what I could do is I could take this. So that, oh yeah. So you could take this and then you could cut it out. Look at the state of my desk. So now you could run it through again. If you don't want to cut, you know, have little cuts in your embossing folder, then you can run it through and do it like that. And I've done that before on one of our other sets that we have that does this. Mm -hmm. But look how pretty. Uh, what an easy fall card, right? Slap a sentiment on that. Boom, you're done. So this is a must. This is a must, but I'm a real sucker for holly and mistletoe. I just love it. But this die in particular is just amazing. I love it. I love it. And I love the paper, but it's now sold out apparently. I got this. I haven't used it yet because I just thought it'd be kind of fun. Don't have this one. Don't have this one. The dies are sold out anyway on the barn one. Don't have this one. Don't love this paper. It's carried over, but I don't love it. It hasn't been my favorite. This paper is fabulous. It's on low inventory, possibly sold out. I love this paper. This, it's okay. I haven't used it yet, but I have it. Um, and I have the stamp set, but not the dies to these. It's just not my thing. Now, I know Nicole, uh, my girl Nicole, she just is obsessed with everything to do with this whole suite. I only like pieces of it. I um, I don't love the dies, so I haven't invested in them yet. And again, never say never. I just haven't done it yet. Um, this doesn't do it for me. But the sentiment, yes. I, I used this one last night. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so freaking cute. Oh, do I not have that card down here? I got a swap card for with this little guy. And he's so cute. And Tracy and I have done um, three cards. Like, look how cute it is. Look, it's just so simple. I love it. There's a punch. This one I don't have. Not my thing. I just ordered the window wishes. Get it in the field of view. What the heck? It's going to be fairly versatile, I think. Um, more for the dies than other pieces. But I do like this tree for stamping. So we'll see. I, I'm not I'm not one to do all this fussy making scenes and things. But I think it's nice to have a window. Oddly, I don't have the cats yet. I will when it's free. Does unavailable mean not coming back? No, unavailable means it's coming back. It's not available right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be coming back, though. Uh, I didn't get the Yeti. I didn't get the trees for sale. I do have this, and I like it. Uh, a good religious one. I got this one as well. I tried using it once, not very successfully. But if you follow uh, Laura Secchi, she has an amazing card where she just did this in blue three times, and it's gorgeous. I just love it. The gnomes, I, I'm i on the fence. I could take them or leave them. I'm on the fence. I don't know. The snowman, a lot of pieces, quite versatile. I love this die. This die is amazing, and I like these trees. Uh, I don't know, again, when it comes to little itty-bitty pieces and that, it's just not my style. So I probably won't use these, but there's a ton of dies. And you can use these. I mean, you could put the sunglasses on the moose, or you could, you know, you can use all the different pieces on different sets. Um, which is fun. And as you know, I got the moose last night because he's wearing a toque and he's adorable. Oh, is it unavailable, Shirley? Okay. Good to know. Chubster, I love. I'm going to start designing with him next week, I think. I actually got this one too. I'm probably the only demonstrator who did. The Countless Trees. I'm going to have to make something with that soon. <laughs> I have it. It was one of the first order sets I ordered. Don't know why. Uh, this set I don't have yet. I probably will. I do like fall sets, but um, it only needs so many. So I actually got this one, which I love. This one, I am a sucker for wheat. I don't know why. So I have this one, but not this one yet. I just, I've, I'm choosing between the two. I picked this one. And then I actually just got this one recently because there's coloring. 
I didn't get this one, but this one I love. You know I love the thinking of you. Love it. I just ordered up this bundle because they just came out with some dies that demonstrators can get the dies now. Um, customers can order them in September. They're while supplies last. I like it because this could be a peach. This could be a plum. And it's coloring. I like coloring. It could be used for teachers. And it just makes me happy. Hi. What can I do for you, little fluffy buddy? Uh, I don't have this one. But... I do have this one. Tracy convinced me I need to have the dies. And so then, of course, I have to have the bundle. And I just ordered this one yesterday, too. I had from some free spending. I went, yeah, I like it for free. This just reminds me of The Wizard of Oz, which is my favorite movie. 7.55. I still have five minutes to go. Gingham Cottage. That's what that is. <laughs> this is what I was going to play with tonight. Okay, the cottage wreaths. I do have it. I haven't played with it yet. Huh. Okay. Interesting. And this stuff. I need to dig this out. I bought it. I have at least three bottles, maybe six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one I got, I've tried to use, not successfully yet. So, yeah. This one, no. This one does not appeal to me in the least. And I think it's difficult. Uh, you have to rip off his antlers to open the box, I think I heard. I don't know. This one, no. No. Can't make me. Ringed with nature? I wonder if I have that. I must have that. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Look at that. I have it. Huh. Who knew? I used one. Okay. Hmm. Who knew? I have it. I guess I should use it. I got a lot. Of, okay. Got a lot of stuff to use. I don't have the vintage Christmas. I do have a splendid day. Don't know. Undecided. Meh. It's okay. Don't have this one. I do have this one. It is a must. A must, 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 must. I'm doing a class with it. Because the dies, there's a mitten, and they're fun. And the made with love, and this. Oh, love all this. I love the fonts. I love the boldness. I love it. Uh, the very best occasions. This is a good, yes. I love this. Oh, you gotta get the bundle. It comes with a punch. Um, but the sentiments are fabulous in here. I love them. I love the fonts. I love everything about it. Nice Christmas sentiment. I don't know. This one is very similar to something I had. And, eh, never say never. So those are a few of the musts. So for me, yeah, the must is the wheat dies. If if you could only have one Christmas set, I would go with Spruced Up or the Holly one. Um, wheat set for autumn. Uh, yeah, the Holly. For Halloween, these dies are amazing. I like the little chubby bird just because this die alone like that's and these ones you can get free with $120 order free celebration item. Yeah, the spruced up is a must. So if, if you're limited to three or four, those would be my three or four top picks from this catalog for sure. Look at that 758. I think I've uh, I think I've said enough uh, and look at the mess. And so now I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll try to, uh, Tracy, I'll chat with you um, while I try to clean up the my desk. I have to talk to Rebecca for a few minutes, my daughter Rebecca. But I think that's it for tonight, ladies. Um, pop in on Friday, Friday morning at 10 o'clock. I have my coffee break, virtual newsletter. Uh, Friday night, I have my class. Fresh picked flowers, if you had registered for that. And that is it for the week. Uh, oh, today is the last day to sign up for the paper pumpkin. If you want that, let me know right now. Uh, I have until 11 o'clock. And trust me, I'm not up at 11 o'clock. So that's the, um, it's the sunflower um, kit. It is $32.50 plus tax. If you need that, let me know within the next 20 minutes. Oh, yes, Wednesday. Nancy, Nancy, good. Nancy's got it marked down. Yes, tomorrow you're coming right back here because we're going to hang out with Tracy and she's going to sell us all the things. And you do not want to miss it because I've seen what she's got. I've seen it. There's a lot. You need to be here. Um, is Oh, the audio's not synced with my mouth. Well, that's just trippy. Trippy. That means it's time to go. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you. Well, Tracy will see you tomorrow night and or I'll see you on Friday morning. Have a great evening. Bye.